I have a very, very bad day, bad day. And this is the worst when there is no particular reason why you have a bad day or why you are so angry and frustrated and sad and depressed. It's like that. And uh, my, my nose is bleeding actually, but don't worry. And um, I was just, I'm thinking about this all the time, the fact that how tired I am the, um, in this in this situation which is to find happiness or it's not even find happiness or, or I want to be happy what I want and what I am waiting for it to find it what makes me happy? And don't tell me, oh, you should find nice things in your life. Yeah, I know I have a lot of good things in my life. And I'm also very grateful. Yeah, really, I, yeah, I, I shouldn't complain about anything, but still, like, I don't know, I just... It, I really feel like I won't find anything what can make me makes me make me happy or satisfied or fulfilled. <laughs> and because now there's like absolutely nothing. And you know earlier when I was traveling I so many times I felt I am happy and now I went to Italy last week and this this feeling it didn't come still I had a nice time I met with lovely people but the first day I was walking alone in the first Thing which came to my mind it was oh my god I am so lonely <laughs> and why why do I have to travel why I don't have anybody in my life we with I could I could travel and and it's not just traveling to share this, this experiences and these memories why do I why why am I doing everything by myself all the time almost everything <sighs> yeah I'm just I think I'm I just um, I'm done with with being single and being this um, a very independent woman who can do anything alone and who doesn't need anybody in her life i'm i'm done with this it was enough for me i don't want to do that anymore because it's just so sad and and nowadays almost every with every activity or everything i i have the same feeling it's um especially it started since uh started when I moved to this flat and I live alone and yeah it's a mess because I will give away these clothes um, to for free to to ex to expats in Budapest anyway yeah I'm not telling being single it's always sad unhappy life what I am telling it can be after a while it can be enough and then you just you you just want want to you want a partner um
Yeah, I just and also the yeah, that's that's my really big problem nowadays. Earlier, but the earlier the um, so the activities or or hobbies which made me happy earlier it doesn't work anymore for example traveling another one partying two weeks ago i went to a party i think i had a instagram story and um, and before that also i went to a party and, uh, and and it's not about I should be drunk and then it will be fun. It's it's not drinking or drugs or anything. It's still, during the party, I had this thought: What I am doing here? Why can't I enjoy this fucking party when I should enjoy it? Why? Why do I feel that I'm so empty? And why I can be happy? Why I can just dance? <sighs> and also after the hangover day, so light hangover day also, I had this, um, even I, I, I wasn't alone in the party. But after the hangover day or the next day, I was like, oh my god, I want to hug somebody. I, I want to cuddle with someone in my bed and I want to suffer with someone and not doing it alone. And, um, and and even though I know it's, it's it's a stupid thing, stupid, stupid thoughts that something wrong with me, and that's why I don't have a boyfriend. But where I can find a boyfriend, but but I think it's kind of normal when you are single for too long and you are getting crazy and you think okay yeah there is definitely there is something 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 what i am not doing well and i don't know what should i change i mean i'm not telling I, i'm really looking for it to be honest, I don't really do anything. I'm not going for dates. I'm not on online dating apps because I don't like them. Mm. And also, I'm not really going to a party anymore. I don't know where where is the where others can find a partner a relationship how does this work nowadays earlier when i was um, at high school it was so much easier now i don't even i don't really meet with anyone and okay, maybe i should go more places and i went to these few events it's not just dating, just um, get to know more people, two events. And and when I met the people over there, maybe, maybe it's my problem, but <laughs> to be honest, they were boring. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I, my expectations are too high. Yeah, now, now I just, it's this, this is this kind of day when, when you are in this, um, in this, um, like, this negative bad thought circle, and you are just going around, 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 around. <laughs> 
and there is no door and you are just getting crazy and and then it's it's not like there is no door it's just you you don't see the door to to find um, the exit from this circle and you just hit yourself you hit everyone everybody annoys you and you know the other things we the thing which really i'm really anxious about it especially because my birth is really coming and i'm with really 40 it's like fuck i'm 14 and i'm still i don't have any idea what is my talent or what am i good at it or what the f what the fuck should i do with my life i'm still i don't know and uh, it really annoys me <sighs> like yeah, to be honest, this this uh, I think I will have a very, very um, very very bad um, um, mental breakdown at my birthday or in in July, my birthday in ten of July. So around this this date, I think hmm, I don't know. I will be at home and eating fast food and chocolates and drinking and get drunk and um, crying and sleeping and not doing anything because <laughs> mm. yeah I, I don't think so I can handle this number mm. I think it's not just it the numbers, it just um forty years it's kind a lot and and when I look back, I don't see anything. It just disappeared and. I don't see anything that can make sense of my life. And I don't like this. Because, you know, everybody says everybody is unique. Um, Everybody has like a mission in this in this life. It doesn't matter if it's bad or good or it's just uh, there is a um, um, sense why you are on the earth or why you were born, but I don't think so. It's true. I don't think so. I really, sh I really should be here. And I, I'm not talking about I want to die. No, I'm. It just. <laughs> I don't have any motivation to continue. I mean. <laughs> Sometimes there are days when I'm when I'm excited and I'm curious what's gonna happen next with me. But to be honest, I don't think so it will be so much better than my earlier years. I mean the last thirty years. And I'm not, I'm not telling because I had a very, very bad life. I had some traumas. Yeah, sure. Everybody had some traumas. 
but this person's really happy. Or maybe I should, maybe I expect too much from happiness. I don't know why I'm making this video. And I, I know I sound like um, always depressed, but um, it's not depression. To be honest, it would be easier if it would be a deep depression, but it's not. It's really... Um, how it's in um, English? Nihilism? That's what I feel. Um, I'm so empty. Like... I don't really care of anything. I don't care if I if I if I you know I have accident tomorrow. I don't care if I lost my job tomorrow. I don't care if I have to live on the street tomorrow. It's, I I don't feel anything could matter anymore. And um, and it's not very. I think um, a lot of people has similar problems, especially uh, in this uh, age. But it's not very popular to show on social media. Cause what you can see on social media be successful, have a relationship, a lot of friends, community, like um, rich life, um, and um, being productive all the time, <clears throat> being motivated all the time, you should uh, rush to everywhere. You should be so busy all the time. You should be popular. And um, buy a house, have a car, travel the world. And uh, also to have a career which you or have a good, very good job. But you can't really see a post about to being lost and you don't know anything about anything. But I think one of my, um, it's not a skill, I don't know, good um, future, what the fuck. Uh, so I, I'm, I know I, I always heard this, which it's a little bit uh, surprising, Sur um, I'm always so surprised when somebody says to me, I am so honest and frank about everything. And I don't know, it's just so, so normal to me, so natural. Just, I don't even think about it. It's just, it's just coming from me. Like, how is that? 
and but I feel like I'm just I'm not just honest with others with myself but it's the brutal honesty when I talk with myself and I'm always analyzing myself why do I it's not like okay now I sit down and now I have to think about why do I feel that why do I feel this it's just just so so automatically I'm analyzing myself all the time and it's coming with honesty um why am i doing this video it's already 20 minutes i don't think so i will post i don't know i know i i don't know stop it